Hey guys, how you doing? Steve here from GraphicDesignerTips.com. Thank you for joining us today for this video tutorial. What we're going to speak about today is how to link images in Adobe Illustrator. So if you're looking at the screen right now, you're going to notice a uh, postcard that I designed for a client of mine. And there's a couple images in the document and they're actually all linked into the document. So um, the way that this is done is if we first minimize this, I'm going to show you the folder that I actually uh, made for this client. And in that folder, there is a folder called stock. And within that stock folder, there is uh, a couple of images that I thought about using for this project and I never ended up uh, using them, uh, but I kept them anyway. Uh, they start with IST, that's for iStock Photo. So above that you're going to see, well actually excuse me, below that you're going to see a folder called Purchased and that's the stock photo that I purchased and then I had to color correct it and make it optimized, you know, set it up for print, make the image size the correct size so when I save this postcard uh, my my file size of that postcard is not enormous. So in corrected uh, are a couple images. The first one is going to be called blueprints.jpg and the other two are going to be called house1.psd and house2.psd. So let's go back to Illustrator to our postcard which is down here and when I pull this up I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go to window and I'm going to open up links and this is really showing us the images that are all the images that are in our document right now. So there are four images. Uh, it's blueprints.jpg, house1.psd, house2.psd, and blueprints.jpg again. Now you might ask why uh, that we're you're seeing blueprints.jpg twice, and the answer to that is that there are two layers of this on in the same Photoshop, uh, excuse me, Illustrator document, and I'm going to turn off this layer and turn on layer two and that's the other side of the postcard where that other blueprints image is. Um, honestly what I probably could have done is I probably could have uh, put these uh, completely in the background and then just kind of kept this green gradient on that side but that's how I decided to do things. I used it twice. That's fine. Um, so we're going to come in here and save click on house PSD one. All right. All these images are linking to the actual images that are in that folder that I first showed you. Um, so if I was to move those images out of that folder, uh, all of a sudden you would get a broken link uh, message on the screen. So actually I'm going to do that right now. So say I take this blueprints out and I throw it on my desktop. All right, now it's out of there. As soon as I come in Illustrator, boom, some files are missing or modified in the link panel. Would you like to update them now? All right. So without hitting yes or no, I'm just going to actually come back here and throw this back in and I am going to hit yes and it's going to update them realizing they're back in the folder. So uh, if you double click on these images, it's pretty cool. It's going to show you the exact location of the image. So users, Steve Looney, desktop, Stevens Files, freelance, TOC, stock. That's where that image is. That's where the other two images are. So actually the other three, even though the other one's the same. So uh, we're going to hit OK here. And uh, if I wanted to say I wanted to take this image, uh, which is a clipping mask, um, and this image up here on the top right, which is also a clipping mask, say I wanted to take them and I wanted to swap them. Well, you would first think, all right, let's take this one over here, let's drag it, and let's drag this other one over here. Okay, good. Yep, that took two seconds, but like everything else, there's so many ways of doing the same thing in Illustrator, but in this tutorial, we're talking about linking, so you're going to learn about linking. Um, and in this, we're going to relink. So we're going to come up here, we can either click on house2.psd or we can click on the actual image and if you don't know where the image is, say you have a huge catalog full of images, you can actually click the uh, image and you can come here and go to go to link and it's going to go right to the image link. So um, now that you have that selected, we're going to come over to this button and we're going to hit relink and say I want house2 to change to house1. 
Uh, all we're going to do is we're going to click on house one. Make sure down here the link is checked because if it is not checked, it's going to embed the image into the document. So uh, for this purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to uncheck the link so you see what the embed looks like. Uh, I'm going to hit place and I'm going to hit OK. And it's taking a second. Voila, there we go. Okay, so if you look up here, first of all, in the links, you're going to see an, uh, a little uh, icon next to this, and that's the embed icon. Embedding, what it's going to do is it's it's really nothing good to it. It's going to make your document a lot larger, and it's going to make it's going to make it so um, you're not you you're not linked to that photo anymore. So if you make changes on that photo, you're gonna have to do extra steps to update it in Illustrator. You know, say you do something in Photoshop with it. Um, like I said, it's it's gonna be extra work for you. So we're gonna hit back up for a second, and we're going to relink this house1.psd. Place that in there. Okay, now it's linked in there. You don't see an embed icon after it. Uh, over here on the right, we're going to click the other house one and we're going to change that to house two. The original one that was on the top left. Voila. So back to using clipping masks, uh, which I did in another video. Uh, you're going to come here and you're going to click with the direct selection. And you're going to move this image within this area, like the clipping mask. You can even, even hit the letter E on your keyboard to transform it within that area. Always hold down shift to make sure you get everything nice and proportional. All right, so that's how we're gonna do that image, right? And just so you guys know, if you if you see on the top right this picture of house2.psd, house how small it is, when you relink an image, it's going to relink it at the same proportions you had the other one. So to visually understand this, I'm going to go to the back and I'm going to go to blueprints.jpg and I'm going to relink this with house 2 and watch what happens with house 2 compared to when we did it on the other side. Boom. See how big that got? And that actually looks pretty cool, to tell you the truth. You could definitely that could definitely go for a postcard. But this is what happens. The other image was so big and robust that when we did this with house 2 on this side, it actually went to the same size of that image, which is pretty cool stuff. So, we're going to back up a bit. And I'm going to undo what I just did because I did not want to do that. And the last thing I'm going to show you in here is uh, if we're in Photoshop and I'm going to open up recent house2.psd and say I need to make a change onto this photo. Uh, just for instance, you know, I go like this right now and I go to either file save or command S. Okay. This is all linked. So watch what happens when we go to Illustrator. Boom. Some files are missing or modified in the link panel. Would you like to update them now? Yes, I would. Hit yes, and you're gonna get exactly what we just did in Photoshop. So it's two different programs working, working in Photoshop for the images, Illustrator for the layout. But when you, when you make changes to those images in Photoshop, all of a sudden it links to the, first of all, links to the, well, the image is in that folder and this is linking to that image. So uh, linking is awesome for getting, uh, making files that are smaller in size. Like I said before, when you embed, your files are gonna become so large and robust, you're gonna have to FTP them to your client somehow or uh, you know FTP them to a printer. Um, although when you do make PDFs, they do embed the images, uh, but for the sake of your computer and saving images and organization, try not to embed, it's not a good habit. Um, cause like I said, you know what, one project from one client is going to lead to another project from them to another. So you want to make sure that everything is all correct and organized, um, you know, in your own way, but you know, the correct way. So you don't give yourself your own headaches. So we're going to come back to, uh, Photoshop real quick. I am going to undo what I just did. Save that again, close it, come back here, hit yes. Now we're back to where we started. So Guys, that's it on Lincoln. Any questions, uh, shoot me an email if you have ideas about new tutorials. Uh, I got a bunch of them I'm working on right now, but I'm always up for more ideas and I'm always up for learning. So um, I've been doing this for a bunch of years now and I'm learning stuff every single day. So that's it, guys. Visit graphicdesignertips.com.
uh, for all your printing, uh, graphics, all that cool stuff, all you need. So I'll talk to you soon. Peace.